Hi everybody and welcome to another Mosaic Monday. This is actually my thank you to you for all your support over the last two years because I started this channel in September of 2019. It is now September of 2021 and we are still growing and going strong. So I wanted to say thank you by doing something that I thought a lot of you would really, really like. So hopefully I was right about that. You are going to be able to work right-handed or left-handed following the same tutorial. If you want to work flat, that's how we're going to work in the video. But I give you the instruction on how to use the same tutorial to work in the round. The chart set along with a lot of other information, including all the yarn that is shown in my samples and the crochet hook, all that stuff. Row start times is always down there in those descriptions along with links to anything I mentioned. Sample that we'll be seeing in the video. For those of you who are going to be purchasing the chart set, I just want to real briefly go over the differences of what you're going to see. You're going to need to look at chart number two. Any of the charts that are marked number two are, will go with this tutorial and you can use it as a support tutorial. You will have the design in the wings that look like that. Chart one, which I've not done a tutorial on, same thing, it's a butterfly, but the what's going on in the wings is the difference. So that's the only thing that changes. Both are 32 plus four for your multiple. Both of them are 41 rows tall. So they're both big patterns. You can use any of the patterns in the chart set on one project altogether by joining on at row two and working your next chart. Or you can work just from this video. It's completely up to you. I do plan to release a second tutorial on this particular Butterfly Alley chart set. So we're going to work this one today, which gives you an orientation like this. As you can see, we start, this is the edge. We're making full butterflies. I have in my chart set for each of the variations of the design, I have where we begin with a half butterfly. And once you start working those repeats, a full butterfly appears and its position is moved over. So it's offset so that the butterflies are staggered as they go up your project rather than just stacked. But you, of course, can stack them and not wait on me to get this other video filmed and out. Hopefully you enjoy this one. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Grab at least two colors of yarn, your favorite crochet hook, and let's get started. So we're gonna begin today by chaining out in the multiple of 32 in color B. So we'll be starting with your color B, which is going to basically be the background of your project. And color A will be the outline of the butterflies. So in color B, we chain out in the multiple of 32 over and over as many times as we want. If we're working in the round, you're just gonna slip stitch to the first chain you made to form a ring and begin working the repeats given in the video. If you're going to work flat with me, you are just going to add four chains to the end of your count after you've done your 32 chains over and over. And then we will begin with row one. So get your starting chain ready and then meet back up with me for row one. So now we're going to begin row one and we begin by skipping the very first chain from our hook and we work here into the second. So we're going to skip one going here into the second and we do our traditional single crochet. That's how you're going to be starting every single row with a traditional single crochet going under the V and that's how you will end every row. You will do that in your final stitch as well. So now we're going to begin our repeat, which is very simple for row one. All we are doing is placing a back loop only single crochet in every single stitch. So at the end of row one, I will have a total of 35 stitches because I chained 32, added four to the end for a total of 36 chains, and then I will have one less at the end of my row. And that will be my working stitch count for the rest of my project. For me, it's a swatch. So you'll keep working your single crochets and meet back up with me when you're ready to join on and do row number two.
We're now moving on to row number two. This is what your work will look like. Very, very simple. So to begin our work, we return back to the first stitch of the row and we identify the very first stitch. We want to make sure that we take this little turning chain and scoot it down out of our way. And we want to go into that very first V. So we just go under the V. Now you're going to add on color A. So for me, that's the peach tone yarn. And we just grab and pull up that loop. Now we chain one. Go back into that same exact first stitch. So back into the same stitch and we will finish out our traditional single crochet and this is how you will join on every single row. So I won't be showing this again. So now our repeat for row number two begins and we're going to be working in the back loop again. For the rest of the tutorial, I will be calling these single crochets and you will just know that you will be working in the back loop only anytime we're working the single crochets in the repeat. So we just grab and pull up our loop and single crochet like normal. So that's all we need to do. Place one of those in all your stitches. Meet back up with me when you're ready for row three. Row three begins now. You will be joining on with color B. Our repeat for row number three begins by doing six double crochets. All of our double crochets will be worked exactly as I'm about to show you. We wrap our yarn around our hook, identify our very next stitch, and then we slide directly down two rows below, picking up the front loop that we left. So we're going to grab and pull up a loop and grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two. That's how you do all of your double crochets. Each double crochet takes up one stitch back here on the main row. So that covers it up and that's what helps create our shape. So we've done one of the six that we need to do. So here is number two. Number three. Number four. Number five and number six. Three single crochets. So we identify our very next stitch. And just begin working like normal doing the back loop only so there's one two and number three fifteen double crochets over the next fifteen stitches So here is number one, two, three. 
three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and number ten. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. three single crochets there's one two and number three and we will end the repeat by doing five double crochets over the next five stitches One, two, three, Four, and number five. So that ends our repeat for row three. So let's recap what we've done. Row three's repeat began over here with a total of six double crochets, three single crochets, 15 double crochets, three single crochets, and we end the repeat with five double crochets. So you guys who are doing bigger projects, you're going to start back over, and next you will work your six double crochets and continue on down the repeat. So you're gonna do that set of stitches that I can barely fit in view of the camera over and over so we'll be back when you're ready to do the row end i'm already at the row end so i'm going to work that now you of course will pause the video if you don't need this instruction so our row end for row number three and all of our rows will be worked exactly the same we have at the end of our row two stitches left one and two so in the next stitch, we're going to restart our repeat for one stitch and then we'll traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So for row three, that means that we're going to be starting the repeat with a double crochet. So a double crochet goes here. So we identify, slide down and pick up that front loop and work our double crochet.
Now we know always very last stitch in the row, traditional single crochet. Going under that V. That's all we need to do. So we'll be back when you're ready for row number four. Row four begins now. We are working in color A for this row. Row four's repeat begins by doing a total of eight single crochets over the next eight stitches. So we're just going to identify that next stitch. Here's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And number eight. One double crochet. Fifteen single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. One double crochet. Seven single crochets will end our repeat. One, two, three, Three, four, five, six, and number seven. So that ends our repeat for row four. So let's recap what we've done. Row four's repeat began with a total of eight single crochets, one double crochet, 15 single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with seven single crochets. So keep working this exact set of stitches over and over all the way down your row 
And when you're ready, we're going to work the row in together since I'm doing a very small swatch, only one repeat. And of course, you can always skip ahead if you don't need the row end instruction. You can skip ahead to your next row at any point during the tutorial. For the rest of us, though, we're going to do the row end for row number four, which means we have our two stitches left. We're going to restart the repeat for this next stitch. So that's a single crochet. And then we do our traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So by doing this, that means that we actually end up with a total of eight single crochets at the end of our row and eight single crochets at the beginning of the row. So they match. So we'll be back for row five. Row five begins now and we are working in color B for this row. Row five's repeat begins by doing a total of eight double crochets over these next eight stitches. So we begin, here's number one, two, three, Four, five, six. Seven, and number eight. Three single crochets. One. Two, and number three. Eleven double crochets. There's one. Two. Number three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, and eleven. Three single crochets. There's 
one, two, and number three. Now we will end our repeat by doing a total of seven double crochets. So we begin. Here's number one. Number two. Three. Four, five, six, and number seven. So that ends our repeat for row five. So let's recap what we've done. Row five's repeat began over here with a total of eight double crochets, three single crochets, 11 double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with seven double crochets. So you'll start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that set of stitches all the way down your row. If you're ready for the row end, we're gonna do that together now. So we need to restart our repeat for one stitch. So for this row, row five, we're gonna be doing a double crochet. And we have one last stitch. We do our traditional single crochet going completely in that stitch to end our row. And then you can chain up from here. Row six begins now and we are working in color A. Our repeat for row number six begins by doing a total of eight single crochets. So we go right here to this next stitch. So there's number one, number two, number three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. One double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, eleven single crochets, one Two, three, four, five, per six, seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. And we will end our repeat by doing a total of seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. So that ends our repeat for row six. So let's recap. Our repeat for row six began with eight single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, 11 single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end by doing a total of seven single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that exact set of stitches. We'll be back in just a moment for row number seven. And since I'm here at the end of row six, two stitches left, restart my repeat for one stitch, which is a single crochet for this row. And traditional single crochet in that last stitch. Row seven begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number seven begins by doing eight double crochets over these next eight stitches. So here is number one. Two. Three, four, five, Six, seven, and number eight. Six single crochets. One, two, three, 
three. Four. Five. And number six. Two double crochets. Number one. And here is number two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Six single crochets. Number one. Two, three, four, five, and number six. And we will end the repeat by doing seven double crochets. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. And number seven. And that ends our repeat for row seven. So let's recap what we have done. So row seven's repeat began over here with a total of eight double crochets. Six single crochets. Two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, six single crochets, and we end with a total of seven double crochets. So keep working that set of stitches and meet back up with me when you're ready for row number eight. And for our row in, for row seven, we start the repeat over with one double crochet. And now we single crochet in that last stitch. Row eight begins now, and we are working in color A. Row eight's repeat begins by doing a total of eight single crochets over these next eight stitches. There's one. Two. Three. Three. 
four, five, and number six, and seven, last but not least, number eight, one double crochet. Two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet, one single crochet, One double crochet, two single crochets, there's number one, and number two. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one, and number two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet, and we're going to end our repeat by doing a total of seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and Number seven. So that ends our repeat for row number eight. So let's recap what we've done. Row eight's repeat began over here with a total of eight single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet and we end with seven single crochets so you guys know what to do you'll be starting back over at the beginning of the repeat from here and work on down your row for your row end you will be doing a single crochet 
and traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. We'll be back when you're ready for row number nine. Row nine begins now. We are working in color B. Row nine's repeat begins by doing a total of seven double crochets. There's number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. Two single crochets. One and number two. One double crochet. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, Three, four, and five. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. And we will end the repeat with six double crochets. Here's one, two, three. Four, five, and number six. So that ends our repeat for row number nine. So let's recap what we've done. Row nine's repeat began over here with a total of eight double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, 
five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with a total of six double crochets. So start back over and work your seven double crochets next and continue that exact repeat of stitches all the way down the row. We'll be back when you're ready and to finish up row nine, all we need to do is start our repeat for one stitch. That's a double crochet. And traditional single crochet. Row 10 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 10's repeat begins by doing a total of seven single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one, and two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, Two and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And number two, one double crochet, and we'll end the repeat with six single crochets. One, two. Three, four, five, 
five and number six. So that ends our repeat for row 10. So let's recap what we've done. Row 10's repeat began with a total of seven single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with a total of six single crochets. So you'll start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row. Row end will be very simple. Repeat restarts with one single crochet. And then we do our traditional single crochet in that last stitch. Row 11 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 11's repeat begins by doing six double crochets. There's number one. Two. Three. four, five, six, two single crochets, one, and two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. Two. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And then we'll do two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Two 
two single crochets one and two and we'll end the repeat with five double crochets there's one two, three, four, and five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 11's repeat began with six double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, 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 one double crochet, and then we will have two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end the repeat with five double crochets. So we'll be back when you are ready for row number 12. And remember at the end of your row, you're just going to restart your repeat for one stitch and then traditional single crochet in the last. So whatever your rows repeat starts with is exactly what you're going to be doing in this second to last stitch. We're going to be skipping that instruction for the rest of the video because I'm sure you guys have got it by now. And a clue to what you're doing will always be what did you begin your repeat with over here on this side of your work so that they end up matching. So we'll be back for row 12. Row 12 begins now. We are working in color A. Row 12's repeat begins with six single crochets. There's one. Two. three, four, five, six, two double crochets, one, and number two. One single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. four single crochets, one, two, three, and four, one double crochet, One single crochet, one 
two double crochets. There's one and number two. Five single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, three, four, five. So that ends our repeat for row 12, and now we're going to recap it. Row 12's repeat began with six single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with five single crochets. So we'll meet back up when you're ready for the next row. Row 13 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 13's repeat begins by doing six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. four single crochets, one, two, three, and number four. Five double crochets to end our repeat. Here's one, 
two. Three. Four. And number five. So that ends our repeat for row 13. So let's recap. Row 13's repeat began with six double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with five double crochets. So we'll be back for row 14 when you're ready. Row 14 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 14's repeat begins with seven single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six and number seven. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Two double crochets, There's one, and two. One single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets. One and number two. Three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, and six single crochets to end our repeat. There's number one, two. Three, four, five, and six. So that ends our repeat for row 14. So let's recap what we've done. Row 14's repeat 
began with seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, and one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with six single crochets. Let's keep working on down that row. We'll be back for row 15. Row 15 starts now and we are working in color B. Row 15's repeat begins by doing seven double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And number seven. Eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Six double crochets will end our repeat. There's one, two. Three, four, five, and number six. So that ends our repeat for row 15. So let's recap. Row 15's repeat began over here with a total of seven double crochets, eight single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets, and we end with six double crochets. 
We'll be back when you're ready for row 16. Row 16 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 16's repeat begins by doing nine single crochets. Here's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet. Two double crochets. There's number one and number two. Three single crochets. One, two, three. Two double crochets, one, and number two. One single crochet, one double crochet, One single crochet, one double crochet, and we'll end our repeat with eight single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 16's repeat began with nine single crochets. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and eight single crochets. We'll be back when you're ready for the next row. Row 17 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 17's repeat begins by doing nine double crochets. There's one, two, Three, four, five, six. 
six, seven, eight, and nine. Seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Eight double crochets will end the repeat. One, two, three. four, five, six, seven, and That ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 17. Repeat began with nine double crochets, seven single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets, and we end with eight double crochets. Meet back up with me when you're ready for row 18. Row 18 begins now. This is what your work is going to be looking like. We're going to be working in color A for this row. Row 18's repeat begins with 12 single crochets. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. One double crochet. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One and two, one single crochet, two double crochets, one 
and two. One single crochet. One double crochet. Eleven single crochets to end the repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and eleven. That ends our repeat for row eighteen. So let's recap. Row eighteen's repeat began with twelve single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet. And then we end with 11 single crochets. So it's a lot of single crochets when you start your repeat back over, but that's what you need to do. So we'll be moving on now to row 19. Row 19 begins now and we will be working in color B. Row 19's repeat begins with 12 double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Four single crochets. One, two. three, and four. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And we will end the repeat by doing 11 double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, 
four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 19's repeat began with 12 double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with 11 double crochets. So we'll be back when you are ready for row 20. Row 20 begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Our repeat for row 20 begins with 13 single crochets. So let's start right here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Three double crochets. One. Two, and three. One single crochet. Three double crochets. One, two, And number three. And we will end the repeat by doing 12 single crochets. There's number one. Oops. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. So that ends our repeat for row 20. We're going to recap it. Row 20's repeat began with 13 single crochets, three double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets, and then we end with 12 single crochets. So 
Keep working. We'll be back when you're ready for row 21. Row 21 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 21's repeat begins by doing six double crochets. Here's number one. Two, three, four, five. And six. Ten single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One double crochet. And ten single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five double crochets will end the repeat. Here's number one. Two. Three, four, and five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 21's repeat began with six double crochets. 10 single crochets, one double crochet, 10 single crochets, and we end with five double crochets. So we'll meet back up when you're ready for row 22. Row 22 begins now and we're working in color A. Our repeat for row 22 begins by doing six single crochets. One, two, three, and number four, five, six. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. One double crochet. Two 
two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and number three. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three. And four. One double crochet. And we'll end our repeat by doing five single crochets. One, two, three. Four and five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 22's repeat began over here with six single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet. Three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with five single crochets. Row 23 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 23's repeat begins with four double crochets. One. Two. Three. and four. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. One single crochet. 
one double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. And we'll end our repeat by doing three double crochets. So here is number one. Two. And number three. That ends our repeat for row 23. Let's recap what we have done. So row 23's repeat began with four double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So we'll meet back up when you're ready for row 24. Row 24 begins now and we are working in color A. Our repeat for row 24 begins by doing four single crochets. So again, right here in this next stitch. Here's number one. two, three, and number four. Now we will do two double crochets. So here's number one. And number two. Four single crochets. There's one, two, three. And number four. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And number two. Two double crochets. There's number one. And number two.
one single crochet. One double crochet. Oops. One single crochet. Two double crochets. There's one. And number two. Two single crochets. There's one. And number two. One double crochet. Four single crochets. So there's one, two, three, and number four. Two double crochets. One and number two. And we'll end our repeat by doing three single crochets. There's one, two, and three. That ends our repeat, so let's recap. So row 24's repeat began over here with a total of four single crochets, two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So we'll meet back up when you're ready for row 25. Row 25 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 25's repeat begins by doing three double crochets. So here's number one, two, Number three. Three single crochets. So here's one, two, and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and number two. One double crochet, There's one. three single crochets, 
one, two, and number three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, one single crochet. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. And we'll end the repeat with two double crochets. Here is number one and number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 25's repeat began over here with three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, and then we'll end with the two double crochets. So you guys know what to do. We'll meet back up when you are ready for row 26. We're now moving on to row 26. We will be working in color A. Row 26 repeat begins by doing three single crochets. So here's one, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one 
and two. Two double crochets. There's one. And number two. Now we're going to do two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And two. Two double crochets. There's number one. And number two. Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, three single crochets, one two and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. And we'll end with two single crochets. One and number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 26 repeat begins with three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So we'll be back when you're ready for the next row. Row 27 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 27's repeat begins by doing two double crochets. Here's one and number two. Two single crochets. There's one and number two. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. Two 
and we will do three single crochets one two and three oops one double crochet three single crochets one two and three one double crochet five single crochets one two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, two single crochets, one and two. And then one double crochet will end the repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done. Row 27's repeat began with two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So, you guys know what to do. We'll be back for row 28 next. Row 28 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 28's repeat begins with two single crochets. So here is number one and number two. Sorry. Now we're going to do one double crochet, two single crochets, so one and two. One double crochet. two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two. Two double crochets, one and two, two single crochets, one and two, three double crochets making our head right now one two and three two single crochets one 
and two. And then we're going to do two double crochets. One. And two. Two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. And we end with one single crochet. So that ends our repeat for row 28. So let's recap. Row 28's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, Two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets. Now we do a total of three double crochets, two single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets. One double crochet, two single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and one single crochet. That ends the repeat. So work that same set over and over on down your row. I'll meet you back at row 29 in just a moment. Row 29 begins now, and we're working in color B. Row 29's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Oops. Try that again. Two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And two. Now we're going to do one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. Two. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Two double crochets. There's one, and number. Three single crochets. 
one, two, and three. Two double crochets. There's one. And number two. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And two. And now we will do one double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, and we will end with two single crochets, one and two. So that ends our repeat for row 29. So let's recap. Row 29's repeat began over here with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and two single crochets. One double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So you guys know what to do. We'll meet up when you're ready for row 30. Row 30 begins now. We're working in color A. Row 30's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. One double crochet. And two single crochets. One. And two. Two double crochets. There's one. And number two. One single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, two double crochets. One and two. Nine single crochets over these next nine stitches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and nine. Two double crochets. There's number one. And number two. Two single crochets. One. And two. One double crochet. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One and number two. And we're going to do two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet to end our repeat. All right, so that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 30's repeat. This is what it looks like. We started row 30's repeat over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, nine single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So we'll be back when you're ready for row 31. Row 31 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 31's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One and number two. Two single crochets. So here's one and two. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets. One, two, and three. Three double crochets. One, two, And number three. Now we'll do one single crochet. One double crochet.
one single crochet. Three double crochets. There's one. Two. And number three. Three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three. One double crochet. And we're going to do one single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And number two. Two double crochets. One and number two, and we will end the repeat by doing one single crochet. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. So, row 31's repeat began over here with one double crochet. One single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, three double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, and then we end the repeat with one single crochet. So we'll be back when you're ready for the next row. Row 32 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 32's repeat begins with one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two, one double crochet. One single crochet, two double crochets, one, and two. Now we're going to do four single crochets. There's number one, number two, three, and four. 
one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. Two double crochets. There's one and number two. One single crochet. One double crochet. two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, and we'll end the repeat with one double crochet. All right, so that ends our repeat for row 32. So let's recap it. So row 32's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, and two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So we'll be back when you're ready for row 33. Row 33 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 33's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, two single crochets, there's one, and number two. One double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Two single crochets. One, and two. One double crochet. Two 
two single crochets, one and two, three double crochets, one two and three seven single crochets one two three four five, six, and number seven. One double crochet. And two single crochets will end the repeat. So one and number two. So that ends our repeat for row 33. So let's recap it. Row 33's repeat began over here with one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, three double crochets, seven single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets. So we'll be back for row 34 in just a moment. Row 34 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 34's repeat begins with two single crochets. One, two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two. Two double crochets, there's one, and number two. One single crochet, one double crochet, Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five, 
one double crochet. one single crochet, two double crochets, there's one, and number two. Two single crochets, there's one, and number two. One double crochet and one single crochet to end our repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done. Row 34's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So we'll meet back up when you're ready for row 35. Row 35 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 35's repeat begins with two double crochets. One and number two. Seven single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and number seven. Four double crochets. There's number one. Number two, three, and number four. Two single crochets, one, and number two, three double crochets, one, two, and number three. Two single crochets, one and two, four double crochets, there's one, two, three, and four. 
seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And number seven. One double crochet to end the repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done. Row 35's repeat began over here with two double crochets, seven single crochets, four double crochets, two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, four double crochets, and seven single crochets, one double crochet to end. So we'll meet back up when you are ready for row 36. Row 36 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 36 repeat begins with three single crochets. There's one. Two. And three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four. And five, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, now we're going to do one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, One double crochet, and 
and two single crochets to end our repeat. One and two. So let's recap what we've done. Row 36's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. We end with two single crochets. So we'll be back for row 37 in just a moment. Row 37 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 37's repeat begins by doing three double crochets. There's one. Two. And number three. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. Four double crochets. There's one. Two, three, and number four. Two single crochets next. There's one. And two. Five double crochets. There's one. Two. Three. Four and number five. Two single crochets, one and two. Four double crochets. One, two, three, and number four. And we'll do five single crochets next. One, two, three, four, and five. Two double crochets will end the repeat. Try that again. <laughs> There's number one. And number two.
So that ends our repeat for row 37. So let's recap. Row 37's repeat began with three double crochets, five single crochets, four double crochets, two single crochets, five double crochets, two single crochets, four double crochets, five single crochets, two double crochets ends the repeat. So we'll be back when you're ready for our next row. Row 38 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 38's repeat begins by doing four single crochets. There's one, two, three, and four. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three. four, five, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet, three single crochets to end the repeat. One, two, and number three. So let's recap. Row 38's repeat began over here with a total of four single crochets. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with three single crochets. So we're back for row 39 in just a moment. Row 39 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 39's repeat begins with four double crochets.
Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Try that again. <laughs> Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Seven double crochets. There's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Three double crochets, one, Two and number three. Sorry about that. Now we're going to do three single crochets one, two, and three. And last but not least, we'll be ending the repeat with three double crochets. Here's number two and number three. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row 39's repeat began with four double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, seven double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, and three double crochets. So we'll be back for row 40 in just a moment. Row 40 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 40's repeat begins with four single crochets. There's 
one, two, three, and four. One double crochet. Twenty three single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Twenty one, twenty two, and twenty three. One double crochet, and three single crochets to end the repeat. One. two, and number three. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 40's repeat began with four single crochets, one double crochet, 23 single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with three single crochets. So we'll be back for our final row in just a moment. Row 41 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 41's repeat begins with four double crochets. So here's one. Two, three, and four. One single crochet. Twenty three double crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Twenty two, twenty three, one single crochet. And three double crochets will end our repeat. There's number one. Two. And three. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row 41 began with four double crochets, one single crochet, 23 double crochets, one single crochet, and three double crochets. So when you get to your row end, you'll have those two stitches left like normal. I'm going to finish this up right here on camera with you. And then we're going to talk about how do we go about working further up for additional repeats of the design. So, one moment and I'm going to zoom the camera up so we can talk. All right. So, after you complete row 41, that'll be your final row. If you were just working this one time in a project, you would just end at row 41 and then you'd be done. That's how we'll be ending our project. You just work the full repeat, then you're done. For those of you who are going to want to rewind and work up for additional repeats of the complete design, you guys are going to rewind back to row two and work rows two through 41 over and over as many times as you want. If you would like to change out color A, which is right here on mine, it's the peach outline of the butterfly. You can do this color change when you restart the repeat at row two. So when you go back, start over again, you can change out. You'll be starting with color A when you go to repeat the design. So row two is a color A row. So you will just switch it out at that point and you can go to a new color. You can switch out color B when you restart the repeat as well. It's completely up to you. I do recommend a uh, color changing yarn in the background, you know, for color B looks really good, but you can do this however you prefer. As always, I really, really, really appreciate you guys so much for watching. I think this is my longest tutorial yet. 
Uh, so this has been a doozy. So if you stuck out with me all the way to the end, thank you so much. <laughs> Until next time. Bye for now.